Patrice was, uh, when I knew him, he was a sergeant in North Bay. And uh, he was a, an incredible firefighter, a guy who cared an awful lot about his job. He, um, he was kind of a guy that was very approachable. He, um, he was a very kind individual. And uh, when I dealt with Pat at Patrice, uh, he had just gone through a significant uh, heart attack. And um, so, you know, I, I was kind of dealing with him as he went through that uh, process. But uh, he was a kind of guy who really cared about what he did. He enjoyed being a serviceman. He enjoyed serving Canada. He enjoyed the job that he did. And any time I had to deal with him, uh, with regards to being a firefighter, this guy really cared. And uh, he loved playing floor hockey. This was a big part of his life, and his family meant an awful lot for him. You know, uh, he talked lots about his sisters who were very close to him. So that's, what, that's how I knew Patrice. It was a great loss. Okay, what other passions did he have? Well, I think just serving Canada. You know, he, he, was, he was very much, uh, as we say, a soldier first. And uh, this, this was so important to him. And uh, so, but how I remember Pat the most was just his, his uh, ability to be so approachable. You know, he, he was just an easygoing, kind individual, but he very much cared about what it is he was doing. And, uh, you know, he, he never lowered that standard, that important, um, I guess, innate standard he held himself to. How did you feel when you heard about what happened to him? I didn't believe it. I, I, when I first heard it, I didn't think it was right. I thought, oh, there's another Patrice out there. And, you know, slowly this sinks in, and, and you find out that, no, in fact, this is the case. And it's, it's devastating.